Here's a late newspaper. I think I'll... Uh, right here on the road. I'm proud for Watson's woolen underwear. Watson's woolen underwear? Sure, I'm going to tell you about three advertisers on the radio. Watson's woolen pictures can teach you how to put in a rough one flat. But this city to Watson's woolen to the back of you, yeah? Hi, Kevin Ledoux at Ledoux Guitars, the Pragmatic Luther. I have another uh, segment today on this bass guitar building project. And I also have a new tool that I'd like to show you because in the comments section yesterday, um, someone commented about this plane that I bought and they wondered if I might show it and talk about it a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And another person commented wondering how I deal with this uh, online tone generator and, and how I use that. So I'm going to do a little quick demonstration on that. So I have today, I have voiced the top. That is as far as I'm going to at this point. I'm not sure whether I want to try and bring the response down any further or not uh, because I am approaching that point where, you know, these lower X braces and the tone bars, uh, given the tension on the instrument and so on, I'm not sure I want to go down any further than that. We'll we'll see. I might run through a string tension calculator tomorrow morning and make some judgments based on that. But it's got a pretty good tap. And I'm noticing that over here in these sections where I got a lot of open material, if you hit it right there, you get a little bit lower frequency, but the predominant frequency that I'm tapping right now is at uh, a, a flat 2, and I'm getting 106 hertz out of it. So that's where we are, and I think we're pretty well finished here, really. I don't think I'm going to go down much further. Just if you have not seen this or if I have not pointed this out, um, I'm not scalloping these braces. I'm using a single finger brace here and so on. Um, I've tapered the upper axis and I always put this diamond sort of pattern here in these sound hole braces. And these are the only braces that I never sand. I try and get my chisel marks on those clean enough so that I don't sand it. It's just a kind of a trademark signature thing, if you will. It doesn't do anything to help the guitar. It's just a quirk that I like to do. So there's where we are. Uh, now, the hand plane. I bought this Veritas uh, finger plane, palm plane. I can't remember what they call it. Uh, this is the flat sole model. Now, I'm not authorized by these people. I don't promote for them. I don't sell anything for them. They're not paying me. They're not asking me. Um, and I'm not reviewing the tool. I'm not going to speak to anything other than the fact that I have it and that so far I've used it to voice this top and I do like it. It is nicely made. It's nicely refined. The grindings on it are nice and clean. It's quite shiny as you can see here. So it's, you know, it's been nicely refined. Every part on it is really nicely done and it is quite comfortable. This handle is adjustable in and out for a little ways, and that may assist in uh, the way you're able to do your work. So it's quite nice. Uh, I believe this uh, the price of this right now is $79. I bought an extra blade with it for, I think, almost $11, just so that I've got an extra. Um, so for $97 and change, I ended up with this, and I think it's worth the money. It seems to be a very nice tool, and I'm Looking forward to using it more and more as time goes by. So here's the online tone generator that I use. Um, I can't pronounce this website really easily, but I'll spell it out in case you can't see it. S-Z-Y-N-A-L-S-K-I dot com. I've been using this for a couple of years. Uh, seems more than adequate. Now, what I do with my top is I tap on it. And if I'm not sure what tone I'm hearing, I'll even compare it to a simple guitar tuner to get into the neighborhood. And then as I tap on it, I use this and I will play the tone uh, 
that's close or as close as I can hear it. And now as I play the tone, I don't know if you can hear that well enough or not, um, but as I play the tone, I tap at the same time and I try and match that up as closely as I can. And that tells me where I am. It's really nothing more complicated than that. Now, I'm sure, pardon me for rotating quickly. Now, I'm sure that there will be somebody out there that's going to want to complain about that method and tell me that it really isn't very good. Um, and that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, my reason for doing this is not because knowing that the top taps at a given frequency is specifically and scientifically uh, useful as much as it's just a matter of points of departure. It, it helps me get into the right neighborhood and assisted with my intuition and my past experience. It allows me to bring the top down to a level where I want it. Now pitch isn't everything. Just because the top resonates or taps at 106 hertz doesn't mean that it's ready to go. There's things like sustain and other partials that you seem to hear out of it. Um, those are all important. So that's part of the scheme as I'm working this thing along the way. But that's what I do. And uh, it seems to be something that has value for me. So maybe some of you will want to give this a try. So thanks for watching. I think my next step is probably going to be to prepare this top uh, to go down on the rim set. And I'll report back either when that's in process or right after it's done. Kevin Ledoux at Ledoux Guitars, the Pragmatic Luther once again, the largest manufacturer of guitars in the entire town of Triangle, New York, hoping that you might put a like on the video and thanking you for watching.